G'day folks. Just playing around with one of my latest scrap bin finds. I've got two of these neat little film and uh, filmer sound projectors. 16mm. They're a reel-to-reel -reel system, all Japanese made. I don't know what's wrong with them or if there's anything wrong with them. It was a deceased estate clear out, so chances are they still work. And I've got a nice box full of these cool films. Uh, very prominent looking stuff too. At RAAF, which is Royal Australian Air Force Record Spools. Uh, General Motors Holden. There's a couple of, that's an old GMH one there. That one there is clearly marked General Motors Holden. Uh, what's it called? Australia in Antarctica. Copy number three, one hour, fifty minutes. Should be interesting. There's a variety of other little bits and pieces in here. We've got something called Pluto. That one is 10 fathoms deep. Sounds like a submarine movie. Sports Parade, Golf Magic. A newsreel of some sort. There's no dates on anything, but they seem pretty old. A lot of empty big spools, there's no tape on them. But the good thing is it has sound as well, so I should just be able to load it up and run it, provided one of them still works. Or at least fix one of the projectors and make it work. Don't know what that one is. Is that Rolf Harris in Australia? Never heard of him. Test film, lots of empty spools, spare parts, got projection lamps, um, desiccant pack, two speakers for it, maybe out of housings for there, called Bell and Howl. Uh, what model is it? Got directions. Got Filmo Sound 1655. Bell and Howl, Japan. Some of your old equipment nuts will get a kick out of this one, especially when I get it running. The other one's in my uh, workroom at the moment. I was playing with the last night, it doesn't want to run, but this one should. Thanks for watching, I'll keep playing with this one. Don't interrupt. I left the bus back up and got his chest first without stopping. That's right. They're talking about buying a car for $80 in this GM film, a Chevrolet, so I'd say it's pretty darn old. I mean, yeah, $80 Chevrolet sedan. I just cannot picture what year that would be, but it's a long time ago. I'll have to look into this a bit more. Would you mind looking at Mr. Jenny's car? It's parked in front of the lot. License number M654. Now I'd be glad to. I know you've written an article. He's just going through the rewind cycle. You have to rewind each spool. They're not very straight, but they do it, they work. <laughs> 